Throughout history, every culture and age has told stories of hauntings, visitations from beyond the grave. Whatever your beliefs, what cannot be denied is that the living are outnumbered by the dead. The tales you're about to witness are created from first-hand accounts. They portray the experiences of people who had no more reason to believe in ghosts than you. Is it possible that beyond our understanding there exists a darker world? Hidden away in the desolate valleys of rural Wales is the Skirid Inn. Situated on an old coaching road, for centuries the pub served lonely travellers. Although now a respectable public house, some believe it holds echoes of a sinister past. Me and my wife decided we wanted to go and stay somewhere. And we thought, well, why do we come to Skirid? We like old buildings anyway. I was sat down and I just wanted to take a drink. And as I put my hand to my mouth, I felt this phenomenal pain in my stomach. And I started seeing visions, if you like, flashbacks. hanging and I remember seeing my feet kicking back and forth but it wasn't my body yet it felt like me I could see people's hands all red full of blood bits were being pulled out of me I was temporarily possessed perhaps it was a past life Perhaps I was that spirit. Simon Kerwood quickly came to believe he wasn't alone. Numerous staff and visitors to the pub had complained of similar experiences. It was around two or three o'clock in the afternoon and I was laying some cutting in. So I carried on laying up my knives and forks. It was almost like a lion's roar in my ear. It was terrifying. I don't like to generally go in there on my own anymore. But it's got to the point where even at night time, the lights are on in there because I don't like to look in there in the dark. I was in the pub, sat downstairs um, by the main fireplace. We were all sat around laughing, joking, talking. <laughs> but there was a very clear presence standing just behind my right shoulder. I felt very clearly that this was a woman and I actually heard her say her name. The name that she said to me was Fanny Rice. Very unnerved, very, very, very scared. Women were now coming forward on a regular basis with tales of a frightening female presence. That was said to strike without warning. As one guest reported when staying at the inn.
she was really distressed, absolutely hysterical. She left and she was still wet. Her hair was wet. But she did said, she's trying to hold me down. She's trying to hold me down. We were quite concerned and I wanted some answers. A couple walked in one summer's afternoon saying that they were trying to trace their family tree and that had I heard of a Henry Price that was the landlord of the inn during the mid-18th century. I said that I hadn't and they said that they had a death certificate of his wife. She was aged 32 and she died of consumption. Her name was Fanny. Is it possible that the Skirid Inn is haunted by the ghost of Fanny Price? Some believe that the former landlady wishes to scare staff and visitors away from her old pub. It's a belief that might find substance in the checkered history of the pub itself which, behind closed doors, doubled as a courthouse. On this site, local villains would be tried, sentenced, 